Hello. Hello, ma'am sir. Welcome to Jollibee. <laughs>
it's a tenure school principal. I, I know you've been here for a while. Can you please? How many students? I don't know, like 40% or something. Wow. Something like 40%. So you're telling me you have 40%, almost half of your students that are Filipino, and you're telling me that their history is not important? Are you telling me that? Um. So you're going to tell me that you're going to tell your parents, and why don't we have an assembly, okay? Much like this, right? And let all the Filipino students come here, and you tell them, Hey, Filipino students, your history is not important. No, not a, not, Can you tell us that? Not a, not a, not a, not a. Okay. And you, you're Kanai too. What? Yeah, yeah. See, I'm Kanai. Oh, I'm Kanai. Wow. So, what were you saying about important? You know what? I think you do have a point. Yeah, yeah, she has a point. <laughs> I think it'd be very empowering to have a teacher like you around. Yes. Well, Positive, I'll strong woman. Panai. <laughs> teaching, the, teaching the youth what they need to know to grow. Okay. When can you start? When can I start? Can you start today? So let's show her the classroom. Yeah, let's show her the classroom. <laughs> She's going to be our new teacher. Welcome. What was it like coming to America? America, the land of the proud, the land of the free. America, the land of opportunities. I left my family and went overseas to find a better life and be all that I could be. Nurses, teachers, and military men. All of our money was given to our families as fast as we could send. I became an aide, but teacher was on the application. But I didn't get the job simply because I didn't have their qualifications. I came expecting a lot, but what I got wasn't exactly what I sought. I came to chase the American dream, but as time went by, I found out that it isn't all it seems. See, we arrived at the struggle, still struggling today to keep the history alive when it's hidden in a subtle way. Hidden, even lost people with such mentality, such as I used to be, blind, trying to bury my history, pretending instead of being, hiding behind lies, hiding from the truth, polluted thoughts of what America defines as right, molding me and you. See, history belongs to me rooted deep within my veins, nurtured and preserved by my family name, back before we even came, carved in the, ba in the bamboo of barangay, and structured back in egalitarian times, set by my long ancestral lineage lines, no more two paragraphs worth of the supposed history, claiming to save us from all our savagery, supposedly free, and yet still captive, even up to the century, colonize our lands but imperialize our minds, make up wearing to make believe lies, decades of assimilation through televised self degradation so I step out the mold that's been built by the lies I've been told. Break free of America's hold on me, no longer another commodity. Step out of the womb with enlightenment on new cultural aspects, a change of light, shedding different perspectives. Indigenously living and the beauty of the people, the culture, the history, everything that I am. Sincerely, this Filipino minority turning revolutionary. Hooray! 